no. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I just woke up, came downstairs, had breakfast, came down to the basement, and this, this happened. This is dead ass not cool. All I ever wanted to do today was to play NBA 2K20. I wanted to go 12 and 0, but I can't do that. Cause I don't have any players to do that. If only, if only there was a way that I could get some NBA players, preferably from people who are at a higher social status than me. If only that was a thing. Wait a minute. Celebrities! That's right, guys. Today, we're gonna ask some celebrities to draft me an NBA 2K20 team because I can't do it on my own. I don't know how. The way this works is simple. We're gonna find some celebrities, some we've never spoken to before. I'm gonna ask them for three NBA players and I'll choose which one I want. Unless it's not in the game or already tanking. Those are the only ways I won't take them. I will then take those players and make a decision on my own on who I want on my team. All right, let's ask some celebrities. Oh, oh yeah. This costs money, damn it! I'm gonna need some money. Need some money. Roll it. And just before we start the video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a game that I've been playing for quite a while now, and I know a lot of you guys play as well. And if you haven't played, why not? It's free. That's right, Monster Legends is free on your iOS or Android. I've been collecting myself some monsters. I can breed them together and breed different species to create new types of monsters. And there's different collections of monsters that you can complete as well. Once I can get the new baby tiny monster, I can feed it, it'll then grow bigger and gain battle abilities and become one hell of a beast. My monsters don't care about anything. They've got Mamba mentality. Once my monsters are the proper size, I can take them into battle. That's right, I can challenge and play against my friends to find out who's the best master of monsters. For the record, it's me. Sorry, Don Jay. There's also different player versus player modes where you can fight in special leagues or in the arena. And you can use Facebook Connect so you can play on any device that you want to. Guys, you should definitely download and check out Monster Legends. Click the link in the description box down below. It's free. What are you waiting for? It's free. Free. Again, thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. All right, it's now time to start searching for some celebrities. Michael Rapapapapor. <sighs> we already asked him in a previous video. We also asked Chris Hansen before. I'd love to see him again. N not like that. Shut the door and fish out the fox. Whoa! Thank me for bling with bling. Ric Flair drip available at Cameo Now. Call me. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! I'm doing it. I'm doing how much? 500! Five, 500! To be the man, you need to book the man. Book it. Looks like we got some basketball players here. Uh, Matt Barnes? 60 bucks for Matt Barnes, eh? I've said some stuff about him in the past, so I'll book it under an alias. Chris Masters? Didn't he used to have like a headlock that no one could get out of? It's DDP! Can't say no to Dallas. A hundred bucks, that is a fair price. Bang! Okay, I honestly thought that was Puff Daddy for a half a second. I, I honestly thought, I'm sorry. Jermaine Dupree? I remember you! I'm pretty sure Jermaine Dupree used to date Janet Jackson. Hundred bucks, let's book it. All right, we're at $750 so far and we have four people. It's not the greatest. Little Zan. You know what? I'm getting a little older and I'll show a little respect for the youth. Book me Little Zan right now. Wait, does the Zan mean Z <gasps> We got Exhibit there. Unfortunately though, we've already spoke to him so we can't use him to that. Afro Man! I was gonna clean the basement, but I got high. 
83 bucks. Let's do it. See some pro wrestlers here like oh, the Hockey Tonk Man. Oh, Kevin Owens. Husband, father, son, wrestler, dude, human, penguin. Spaghetti. Hey, spaghetti. Book it. 135. Damn, Sandman's here? I forgot he was a human. Ken Shamrock. All right, Ken Shamrock is a UFC legend. Also, he spent some time in the WWF. That's right, pretty sure he was in the Nation of Domination. Only 40 bucks, I will book it. We've got eight people so far with a total of $1,118. Hey, caramba. Mandy Sachs. Hello. You know what? We gotta get a player from the ladies. Book it now. All right, I just found Nick Diaz on Cameo, okay? Don't be scared, homie. Book it. We've got 10 people so far at $1,368. We only need to find three more. Okay, I just found Spud Webb, and I remembered that I have never heard from him. I tried to hear from him, but he did not respond. Today, hopefully, is my day. Book it now. Roger Clemens. Oh, that's a name that brings me back. He was a great pitcher for the Blue Jays and other teams as well. 250. Ooh, 250 for the Rocket. I'll do it. All right. We only need one more celebrity. Hopefully it's a cheap one. It's getting very expensive out here, cuh. Thugzilla? Little scrappy. Is that Panda Panda Panda? I've got hoes in Atlanta. I've got credit card in the scammer. I don't know how it goes anymore. It's been a minute, okay? $100. Let's do it. Book it right now. Well, there we go. We have booked 13 celebrities for a grand total of $1,818. Not my most expensive draft and still less then Caitlyn Jenner. That's right, Caitlyn Jenner wants $2,500 alone. It's never happening, Caitlyn. It's never happening. So, the next thing that we must do is, of course, wait. We have to wait for our celebrities to respond. So, I'll give them a week. Until then, I'll see you later. One week later. It's been one week later, and we have some good news. And some really bad news as well. Unfortunately, Jermaine Dupri straight up canceled my order. Little Zan was too high to respond. Spud Webb ignored me for the second time. Designer forgot his password or something. Nick Diaz was too busy not getting ready for a fight. And the one that hurt me the most, DDP, did not respond to me. Ugh, not Dallas. But... We did find some replacements. Cedric the Entertainer, Bam Majera from Jackass, Montel Jordan, Montel Williams, George Niang from The Jazz, and Rusev from the WWE. And the first person that responded to me was... What's up, Troyden? Mandy Rose here. Um, wanted to send over a little video and you want me to name three NBA players for your draft. So here it goes. Uh, first and foremost, Kobe Bryant, RIP. Um, such a sad story, honestly, and um, gotta go with um, the GOAT for sure. Um, another GOAT, speaking of, Michael Jordan. I'm a big Michael Jordan fan, love him. True GOAT, um, greatest of all time. And uh, third, I'm going to go with um, LeBron James. Random and, uh, you know, three goats, actually. But um, hope that answered your question. And I uh, hope you enjoy your draft. And uh, hope you have a great day. I really appreciate all the love and support. And um, talk soon. Mwah. And our first player today from... The Los Angeles Lakers. He's a shooting god. 94 overall diamond, Kobe Bryant. Of course, we we're going to take Kobe first today. No doubt about it. You know one thing that pisses me off? It's a diamond. Wait. He doesn't have a pink diamond or galaxy. What is this? I put a locker code in for Kobe. 
What's going on with that too? I have so many Kobe questions, but thank you, Mandy, for picking the Mamba. All right, Troyden, here you go. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, obviously, because he's the all-time leading scorer in the NBA ever. Um, definitely jump and get the rebounds and uh, put them back. And then, of course, um, man, got to go with Michael Jordan. Uh, I would see the Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, one of those two. Uh, and then uh, from today's generation, um, man, you got, I mean, you got to go with LeBron James, man. Um, LBJ. Anyways, those are the three, man. I think you get those three, man. You got a rebounder and you got a couple jump shooters and a power and a, a power forward with uh, LeBron. Um, and you got a, a, a pure scorer with, um, you know, uh, Michael Jordan. So um, those are the three I would pick, bro. Anyways, uh, good luck. Have fun, man. Take care. And we've got from the Chicago Bulls. He's a shooting guard. One of the greatest to ever do it. It's a Galaxy Opal, Mikael Jordan, out here today. And that was the most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Wow, that is really a trip down memory lane. I remember him in the WWF. I remember him in the UFC winning the first ones. And he just gave me a Galaxy Opal, Mikael. Life comes full circle. Let's go. Hey, Jordan. Nature Boy here, man. I understand you want to put together a draft for 2K20 basketball. Well, if you're talking basketball, you're talking to an expert. The Nature Boy Ric Flair, 16 times your world champion. You number one would draft Will Chamberlain, the greatest center, the big dipper, seven foot two, 300 pounds, could lead the league in assists, could lead the league in scoring, whatever you want to do, the most dominant player of all time. Number two would be LBJ, the king. Why not? 6'8", 260, already closing in on every statistical record in the books. King James, lead the Lakers this year to another NBA championship. And number three, of course, would be MJ, my man. Arguably the GOAT. There's two or three guys in that conversation. But who knows, six world championships, the Chicago Bulls, he's a billionaire now, what the hell? Michael Jordan, the man that makes Nike, Nike, huh? Whoo, along with Tiger Wood, but Tiger don't play basketball. So stick with those three, brother, you can't lose because the Nature Boy has given you his top three picks. Pick them, love them, learn to love them, enjoy them, and win every draft you invest in. Because the nature boy is saying, woo, to you, Troyden. Learn to love it, brother. Woo, woo. And we've got from his time in Cleveland. It's a point guard, apparently. 97, LeBron James. Woo. Thank you, Ric Flair, for giving me the King James. Damn, Ric Flair still got it. He's 70 years old. He's still, he's got more energy than me. That's crazy. Ah, my eyes. Ah, epilepsy, epilepsy. All right, Troy Dan, NBA players, I'm going to pick Larry Bird from the Celtics because he was white and he was good. Uh, Allen Iverson because he's from the 76ers. And uh, Kobe Bryant because he's from Philly. Yeah, I'm on. And we've gone from the Boston Celtics. Power forward, small forward, big diamond, Larry Bird. That's right. I picked the legend, not because he's white, because he was, I guess, the best option there. How the hell was that all about? Listen, Larry Bird is a great player. I'm glad he's on the team. Thank you for that. Bam. Jordan, the Rocket Roger Clemens here. Listen, this is an easy one. I got Bird, Magic, and Jordan. I mean, come on, those are three in my heyday when I was bursting onto the scene there with the Red Sox and getting after it. So I got to watch these guys compete and go at one another. So that's the big three right there for you, my man. Have a good one. You guys get after it. And we've gone from the Los Angeles Lakers. He's a magical man. He's 
got a disease and still isn't dead. That's magic. Magic Johnson. I have the amethyst here. Okay, the uh, pink diamond's a little expensive right now. It's not that I don't got the MT. It's just a little pricey. So I'm going to use this one instead. In fact, this one's kind of cheesy. You can use it at center. Wait, what? Why? What's going on? This is the Hungry Hustle, an African-American wet dream. The successful failure, the acceptable reject. Yeah, I get dissed, but it's with respect. OG, Amsterdam, Afro, money-making marijuana, smoking mother... M-A-N, you know what I'm saying? And yes! Yes! My favorite three NBA players. It's going to be Magic Johnson. Michael Jordan. And, uh... <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know what I'm saying? Um, Magic Johnson, because I'm just a magic man. I'm from L.A. I like Magic Johnson's whole story. Like how he came up, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, like how he beat Bird in college. Then I like how he came on and beat him on in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Then he came to the L.A. Lakers, and I'm from L.A. Magic Johnson is ours. So that's why I like Magic Johnson. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know what I'm saying? Came up out of UCLA, came to the Lakers, Scott Hook, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just like him because of the guy Hook. I think he's the only basketball player in the NBA with his own personal unique shot. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan. It's like this. If you like a sport, you like who plays it well. If you like a sport, you like whoever plays it well. No matter what team you go for in the NBA, if you look on your feet, you got a pair of Michael Jordans on. You might be a Laker fan. But you got some yellow and purple Jordans on. You could be a Celtic fan. But you got some green Jordans on. You know what I'm saying? You could be any kind of fan. But you're going to like Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan played the game well. Amen. But God, my voice would have been clear. But then I got high. Yay. Hey. And we've got from. The Milwaukee Bucks. He is the center all-time leading scorer, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Out here today, unfortunately, this card is a sapphire. It's an evolution card that I have not been evolving. I think that's quite obvious. Either way, it's still Kareem. It's still a sky hook. He can sit on the bench. What's up, my man? This is I, Rusev, from Rusev Day, and I wanted to say, well, happy Rusev Day, obviously. Besides that, it's very bright. If you don't mind, I'll put my shades on. But because, man, your uh, your request is really special because nobody ever has requested anything like this. Um, and I'm really happy because, you know, I, I'm all over the place. You know, I don't just do one or two things. I do it all. But your question is very specific, but very, very hard. And you know why. And to all of you that are gonna watch this video, the question is, who is he going to draft three NBA players from any league for the NBA 2K20 draft that he's doing? My man, Troy Dan. Man, so first and foremost, I'm a huge Shaq fan. So this just goes by without saying Shaq is my guy. I, I started watching basketball when I was a little kid when after he broke the backboard. Uh, you know, in uh, 1992 when he first came with the, with the Magic. So he's number one. You have to pick him. I, you just have to. Two, you have to take the greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan. Um, just because he's Michael Jordan, nobody goes without him, you know? Um, and man, but number three, is, uh, it's not as easy because there's so many great players, you know, over, the, over the, all these decades to which I haven't seen all of them play. So... From everybody, everybody that I've seen, and I remember, and I want to see play. Gosh, 
there's so many. I don't know, man. I, I've i never seen LeBron play in person, which I'm going to do very soon. But as a number three, I would definitely pick LeBron because he's just, a, he's a beast, man. There's no stopping LeBron, you know? Um, but if I have to put a fourth instead of LeBron, just to be like, hey, because all of your people nowadays don't like LeBron for some reason, but after he retires, everybody's gonna give him all the credit in the world. Watch, just watch. But who would I take instead of LeBron? I would take Magic, 100%. Magic Johnson is such a rarity of a player, such a way before his time, way before his time, definitely one of the best, definitely one of my top players in the world ever. Uh, just because of the skill with the ball and everything he had. He, he played one through five and that was 1980. Nobody did that. Uh, so yeah, those would be my picks. Hopefully they helped you. And I'm looking forward actually for you to tell me who you picked. So hit me up on social media, whatever you want. I'm interested to see uh, who's your choices. All right, man. And don't forget to celebrate the grandest day of them all. It's Rooster Day. Every day. Goodbye. And we've got from the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a pink diamond center, Shaquille O'Neal. We got the diesel out here. We got Shaq Dix. Yes, this is a very, very good card. And I am very happy. So happy that I don't want to stand up. Happy Rooster Day. Trading, what's up, man? All right, let's see. So you putting the, putting together your 2K squad. I tell you what, I love basketball. I go all over the place with it. But if I was picking a team, if I was picking some players right now, I'd get two from right now. So I would both have, uh, for me, got to have LeBron James. I want the king on the team. I just think that he got a great overall game, powerful, can shoot inside out, get great defense, great leadership out on the court. Then I'd want... Kawhi Leonard, I don't want a killer, a person that's just a silent, like a sniper that you just can't figure out how to defend. You don't know what to do with him. And he's got those long errands, so he's a hustler, but he's a scrapper, and he's just all the things that I feel make him a great player. And then I'd go with Shaq, old Shaq, very dominant, big man in the middle, one of those kind of players that you just can't account for. There's no way to really deal with him. And uh, especially in today's game, you'd just be just so domineering if you look at old Shaq. Young Shaq in today's game, be a beast out there. Be like Zion and AD. Well, it wouldn't be quite as smooth as AD, but definitely like that Zion Williams, just that big, that Zion Williamson big, big body just out there hanging. That's it. Hopefully you can use it. I'll holler We've got from the Toronto Raptors, small forward, the reigning Kobe Bryant MVP, Kawhi Leonard. I think Kawhi could honestly win the MVP award this year. That's right, the claw. He is a very scary man. I met him in real life. His hand, his hand, it was so big, you had to be there to see it. What's up, Troy Dan? Troy Dan? Troy Dan. Troy Dan, I don't know. You you choose which one. The way you want me to pronounce it, that's the way we're going with. You're asking me to name three NBA players and to explain why I'm naming these players. Listen, I have never watched basketball ever. <laughs> so I'm going to go with pretty common names, I think. And the reason for that is, I, I guess I'll explain, whatever. First of all, obviously, Michael Jordan was in Space Jam, so I know him, and I know he played baseball and wasn't very good, and then obviously one of the greatest basketball players of all time, so let's go with him first. Second would be Larry Bird, because my friend Eddie Edwards, who's another wrestler that you may uh, have heard of, uh, used to have socks with Larry Bird on them, and uh, I love Eddie Edwards, and I love his socks. So Larry Bird would be number two. And number three, gets tougher because I really don't know that many basketball players besides, you know, beside the big, big names. Um, Hakeem Olajuwon, because his name is kind of funny. And I think he was good. I don't know. 
So those are the names I'm going with. The three basketball players that I'm giving you. Very, uh, I'm sure, common choices or whatever, names, you know. If anybody's going to pick out names from basketball players. I'm sure those three come back quite a bit. But there you go, buddy. So uh, take it easy and good luck with your draft and everything. And uh, enjoy basketball. Enjoy wrestling. I assume you enjoy wrestling if you ask me to do this. And enjoy everything in life because uh, life's... Uh, Life's too short not to enjoy. All right, man. Take it easy. And we've gone from the Houston Rockets. He's a center. One of the greatest to ever do it. Hakeem Elijah Wan out here today. Yeah, that name's kind of funny. Hakeem? Or is it the Elijah Wan that's funny? Which is funnier, Hakeem or Elijah Wan? Let me know in the chat. What? Don Jay, what up? This is Matt Barnes. Three players for your 2K20 draft. Doesn't matter which era. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I would go with Kobe. Got to put Kobe on there. Rest in peace to my brother, but you already know why. Everything he does is a competitive spirit. Uh, probably the biggest dog I've ever played with. Another hidden gem, Baron Davis. Went healthy, was one of the best players, could have been one of the best point guards ever, but was always hurt. But was a tremendous talent. Uh, I got a chance to play with healthy, or somewhat healthy Baron in 2007, and he was amazing. And last but not least. Maybe a, a young Amari Stoudemire. We came in the NBA together in 02. Uh, tremendous career, derailed by injury, but in Phoenix, he was unstoppable, man. So, hope those three help. I wasn't really sure if that was the question you were asking, but if it isn't, just hit me back and I'll help you again. Anyway, man, hope all's well. And we've got from the Phoenix Suns, it's a reward, Pink Diamond, Amare Stoudemire. That's right. I had to tank Amare over Baron Davis. We have too many guards, and we gotta make sure we got bigs. What's in your hand, Amare? Seriously, what is that? Is that a retainer? Hey, what's up, Troy? It's your man Montel Jordan responding to your message regarding your upcoming NBA 2K20 draft and the three players that you think I would choose uh, in whatever era and why I would choose them. And so uh, that's tough, dude, because you're talking like hundreds and thousands of players who have been in the league over the years but i tried to come up with my top three and here are the reasons why first of all i, I did a more current player i did a kind of mid-termy player of my life and then a further back player so first of all um i would go with uh the sniper i would go with katie kevin durant uh and one i would go with kd simply because um he's a big right so he can play the low post and everything but uh he's dangerous like a magic johnson you know he's got outside he's got an incredible shooting ability and so when you got somebody with handles like that who's a big but also is a threat from the outside who can drive uh and who's a big scorer i would go with kevin durant and he's modern he's a modern uh day player and hopefully he gets uh, healed pretty soon uh secondly I went way, way, way back in time, uh, in the time when I was, you know, growing up, Laker fan, diehard Laker fan, grew up in Los Angeles, and I would go with secondly, Lou Alcindor, also known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The reason why I would choose Kareem is of all the centers, the Shaqs and the Elijah Wands, all those that you could choose, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had a hook shot. He had a sky hook that has never been duplicated in time other than Magic Johnson who developed a little sky hook, but it was almost an unstoppable shot, an unblockable shot. And so from that standpoint alone, because he was a solid center, a pure center, I would go with uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And then lastly, I got to go with Black Mamba, man, uh, just simply because um, he choked the life out of his uh, opponents and uh, one, with him not being here with us anymore, I think it's a good tribute for anybody uh, doing uh, uh, NBA 2K20. Uh, they're probably going to try and have Mamba uh, on their team. So those are my three picks. Durant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Hope that helps you with your draft. Uh, and it was good uh, sending this message to you. All right. Take care, man. God bless. And we've got from his time in 
OKC. He used to be a snake. Now he's on the injured list. Small forward Galaxy Opal, Kevin Durant. So, so happy to use this card. I didn't see, pulled it the other day. And in fact, I pulled two of these cards. It was crazy. I sold the other one for so much MT. I have so much MT right now. <sighs> I'm so happy. Hey, Troyden, it's Montel Williams. How you doing, my friend? I see you're working on your NBA 2K20 draft, so you're wondering what three players I might pick, historical players, I'm gonna tell you who they are. Earl the Pearl Monroe, who played for Baltimore, the Bullets. You gotta throw Michael Jordan in the mix, and of course LeBron James, but I wish I could give you a fourth, and you know who it would have to be, Kobe Bryant. And we've gone from the Washington Bullets. Point guard, shooting guard, diamond. Earl Monroe. Earl Mon This is a draft first. So, you know what? I didn't really have an option anyway. We're gonna take Earl. Thank you for that, Montel Williams. I never thought I'd say any of these things in a sentence. Troy Den, what's up? It's George Niang. And if I could name three basketball players in Y for your NBA 2K20 draft, I'd have to say George Niang, one, because you need a power forward. Um, Monte Morris, because you definitely need a point guard. And um, Nazareth Mitru Long, because every team needs a shooter. Come on now. Those are the three I picked, my man. Best of luck in the draft. And we've got from the Denver Nuggets, point guard, shooting guard, Monte Morris out here today. What? Okay, I don't even know who the third person was. They're not in the game. Uh, George Niang, thank you for the cards of yourself. You're a silver, so I'm going to have to take Monte. I'm going to have to take... This is... Whatever, I think we're going to be fine. And this is the team that celebrities drafted. Point guard, you already knew. That's LeBron James's spot. He's glitchy. Shooting guard, we gotta do it. In honor of Kobe, the Black Mamba will sit there. Small forward, move over. It's Miguel Jordan out here today. Another Galaxy Opal. This one is Kevin Durant in the power forward and center. No doubt about it, that's Shaq's spot. God damn, this is a good ice team. He's a very good team, except for Monte Morris. And it is now time to go online to play a random. I'm still hurt that Mr. DDP did not respond to me. That's killing me. I do his yoga every morning. That's a lie. And it is now time to play a team online. No, that's fine, okay? We got a good team, too. We can compete. I see, I see Mr. Steve Narsh. I see Miguel Jordan. I see T-Mac. Paul Millsap. We are not in the Donkey Dome. Damn it. Okay, that's a tough tit to swallow, but sometimes you got to swallow a tough tit. I'll be okay. Let's win the tip off, Shaq. My Shaq. Come on. We always do. We always win the tip. Come on, Katie. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you're fouling me early. Is that a frustration foul? Faking it. Where's Shaq? He's coming fast. Why is Steve Nash guarding Shaq? Ha 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 ha. Joint, got the steal route. Let's go route. Back to Kobe. Kobe. Oh, that's, oh. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Mama action, baby. To Macau. Is that Macau Jordan? Taking a three. Missing. But who got it? Kobe. Do the move. Do the move. I did the move. Not the one I wanted, but a move happened. I'm down with Kawhi Leonard. He's a superstar. Watch that. Ho, ho, oh my god, I was kidding. Green ah! Giants. <laughs> Kawhi not hit the shot. Oh my god, Super Kawhi's going off. Kobe, Kobe right there to Macau. Macau pop the ho, mini. Ho, ho. Green, Green Macau mini. That's what I'm about. Green minis. No, rebound to LeBron Zay. Oh, got you jumping. I wasn't going for it. <laughs> Suck on that, Margie, you tall bastard. He's not even trying to guard Jack. To Kawhi! How's it not green? I, I'm getting sick of you making shots not graining. I'm about to fire you. Yoink! I thought that was a yoink. I felt it. I felt the future yoink. Thank I, you. I knew Come I, again. I told you I felt the future yoink. Did I? Did I feel that? Did I feel a future yoink? I think I did. Kawhi, future oh, green! Oh, oh, future oh, green! Green! Oh, future green! Future motherfucker! I'm gonna keep scoring. I'm gonna keep making this man contemplate his decision to not quit. Oh, oh, oh. Green! 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 Miguel. Thank you. Come oh again. my god, what a steal. What a user yoink. What a play. 
Jack, bring it at home. I'm doing everything right. Call me. Call me Steve Wright. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Right there to Macau. Speak of the devil. Hit this three, Macau. Ho, ho, ho. Go Green Macau, Jerry. I just really got a craving for some banana bread. I, I, for some reason, I really want some banana bread. Press one if you want some banana bread. Does anyone have a lot of banana bread? Has anyone not had banana bread? Tell me about if you've had banana bread or not. I love banana bread right in this moment. Usually I don't, but I really want some banana bread. One more who wants it? Macau! Macau! If that goes in, everyone dance. Can't, don't do it. Don't you dare do it. We got an easy win today. A dominant win. No, I shouldn't say it was easy. I made it look easy. It wasn't. The Troy Dan player of the game today, without a doubt, was Kawhi Leonard. 30 points in only 10 minutes. What? We didn't shoot great from the field goal, 59%, but neither did he, 53%. We shot Finney from the three-point line, 11 for 22. He beat us on boards, though. Three on offensive and two on defensive, but that's okay. We had 11 steals. 11, only two turnovers to his 11. Yes, we were dominant today. And the only people I can thank for that are the celebrities. TY Slebs in the chat. That's right, the celebrities today. I still... I still want to hear from DDP. It's bothering me that DDP didn't respond. Guys, thank you for watching. And as always, keep your stick on the ice. Why didn't DDP respond? Does he not like me?